So I did a Google search and is Kirsty married to Phil comes up with 27,000 searches. So there's 27,000 people really? in a very short... I've asked that question. Yeah, as uh, are you married to Kirsty? So my question to you is, if you weren't married to your wife, would you marry Kirsty? <laughs> <laughs> She once described that in an interview as incest. Oh, really? Ah, yeah. oh, so that's yeah. the relationship. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Fine. Yeah. I mean, she is like a sister, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, she, we're not each other's type, if, if you want the honest opinion. I do want the honest yeah. opinion. Well, okay, I'll take the words out of Kirsty's mouth. Yes, this is what she it. said. Yeah. My wife is tall and blonde. That's not Kirsty. Right. Okay. That was a... I feel good about getting that one out there. <clears throat> I, I, I mean, th th there are reasons why. I think when we first started making the programme, we, I mean, we do get on, and, and people perhaps aren't used to seeing that platonic friendship on television. Mm. And there was a lot of stuff in the press that are oh, Phil and Kirsten together and blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, and, and then, of course, you're either together or you, you hate one another. So then there was stuff about, oh, no, they hate one another. They don't even speak, despite the fact that we just written a book together. <laughs> uh, so it was kind of, the, the press has, has always been interested mm. in that. We didn't help ourselves, or I didn't help ourselves. Um, it was two years ago, I think. I, mean, I could come up with a number of similar examples. But um, so we travel around, we stay in hotels, we, we, you know, we move around the trains, planes and what have you. Um, I'd come down, we'd agree to meet in reception of a hotel in the Midlands somewhere, 8.30. I was down there at 8.30. She was nowhere to be seen. Not an unusual circumstance. <laughs> so she calls me. I'm stood by reception. Darling, darling, I've locked myself out of my room. Can you get the key? Can you get a key and come up? That's fine. So I got the key from the reception, left my bag at reception, went up in the lift to Kirsty's room. There she was, stood outside of her. Let her into the room. We both went in. She brushed her teeth, finished packing. We both came out. I, being the gentleman, wheeled her back. We walked down the corridor. So now so two people have just left one hotel room with one bag. Walked down the corridor and people, there was somebody sort of doing this. We got on the lift. People said, morning, Bill. Went down to reception. She was checking out. And more people. And then I thought, oh, shit, what have we done? And that ended up in the press. That we wow. had both walked out of the same hotel room with one bag. Ooh. So we probably don't hope us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like milking it a bit with the press, teasing them? Or do you just... No, I think no. we're beyond yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right, next one. Um, what's the weirdest thing you've seen inside a house or viewing a house or buying a house? And are you going to tell us the one you said before the cameras <laughs> no, were on? No, no, I'm not going to tell you that one. <laughs> um. <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't have. That's, that's cheeky of me. I'm sorry. This is the cheeky round. Okay, well, I mean, that one, a camera was put... So we're, we're filming, the, ca the cameraman put his camera on the floor, which was actually looking at what was under the bed. And the, the director was looking and screaming, oh my God, what's that? And it was something that no one would wish to see, but it was hidden under a bed. So um, think about what you might normally put under a bed. Well, I don't know about you, <laughs> Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I um, see what you did there, turn it on me. Um, <laughs> I had walked in, to, and I was with a, with a client, um, early one morning, I mean, not that early, nine o'clock in the morning, walked into a house, we'd got the keys, and there was a chap coming down the stairs in his dressing gown. Oh, God, sorry, forgot you were coming. Wife had a baby last night. And she really had had a baby. And her water had broken on the living room floor. And they'd rushed to hospital. Wow. Um, and then he'd come back at whatever time and gone straight to bed. Hadn't cleared up the mess. That was something I won't forget. <laughs> <laughs> like this video and you subscribe to the channel. We are upping our content game, bringing you the most disruptive interviewees and guests and content and not just the people who do the usual circuit. So make sure you like, subscribe 